We are going to ask our watchmaker to come in and give us the next watch. I can't wait to see what this is going to be. Hi, oh, Master Watchmaker. Oh, oh the big one, Master Watchmaker. Okay. Does it, it doesn't speak. Never. Doesn't speak. No. Doesn't speak. Uh, yeah. This is the AP Royal Oak. This is bound to happen. Oh, this this is. I suspect we're all going to have the same alternative. This is a god. god. Adrian, don't look. You don't cheat. This is this is god god state. Okay. <laughs> um, um, so over to Adrian first because he starts the last the iPad. Time. And okay, so um, with this, I am going to go with. <laughs> so the, the, oh, the, I'm so pleased. Okay. So the idea around this, the alternatives, isn't just a different watch. There's I two like elements. That you did that. There's two elements to this. Is yeah. one either more accessible, an alternative by it being more accessible financially, but more accessible being able to get these are. This is a huge. What's this? Thirty grand, thirty-five grand. I think these You've are. You've got to name your child after. Huge after, of, after the huge AD. amount of money. But yeah. regards to that, they are near impossible to get. They're 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 rocking horse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Bomber Mercier Riviera. That's a good shout. I and do not begrudge that. I've I've recently. I'm, I, I was, to be honest, I'm fairly new to Bomber Mercier. Getting hands on. I got hands on one of these last month. I think it was, and I was blown away. Yeah. Three grand. The build quality is remarkable I for that, that amount dial. of money. Yeah. The dial is dial. awesome. It's, I, it's got I, like I, a, I love the date. It's like opaque. a glass dial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's an opaque dial. dial. You yeah. can see through it just about. The, you get the aesthetic. It's nowhere near the same realm as as uh, a, a Royal Oak, but it's a tenth of the price. Yeah, and uh, it's from again, it's from the same era. Because what happened in that period in the seventies is that. Sports watches turned to steel thanks to AP. Like 100%, no one would argue that AP started that trend away from precious metals to steel in luxury, but they were doing quartz versions. There was the, the Chopard, yeah. um, what's it called? St. Moritz, which was right. a quartz model. There was the Riviera, which was a quartz model. There was the Laureato, which was a quartz model. It goes on and on and on. And they all derive from that same sort of geometrically led design. So there's provenance too. This isn't just a brand new idea. Like they were And not this. everyone executes it right. Yeah, I feel like this is being executed very well. Know, it's tasty. Um, it, it, it is it is tasty. Good shout. Also, like yeah, no, wow, good shout. damn it, we agree on something. Yeah. <laughs> Over to you. I'm going to go to Laureato. Uh, I you have nicked mine. Of course, I have because it, it had to be done. But I think the Laureato. If I can say something again, not so much in its like defence, but while I think AP has had the 50th anniversary of the Royal Oak last year, oh, this year is it? This year? It's this year. Uh, yeah, it's this year. They, they, had the, they, they are having the 50th anniversary this year. Uh, GP has actually made this the year when I think the Laureato has broken huge ground for them. I think the credibility of the Laureato, the Infinity model with that amazing Onyx dial yeah, that's yeah. just Love limitless. That. Gorgeous. I, I feel like this is just getting a place at the table that it had, you know, when we first, because I, I own a Laureato chronograph with the blue dial, and this is a watch that at the time was considered me too. When I was wearing it around mm -hmm. the traps, there wasn't a lot of respect. There wasn't a lot of understanding about the fact that we had a similar provenance. Um, but I feel like that's changing. Do you know, honestly, I, I wear my white ceramic one that... Is I it in got, a shelf of magic? May, may, maybe it's in here. Oh, yes, it is, it is. in here. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, so I wear this one quite a lot. Um, Yes, this is a sold out one, but I, I wear it quite a lot. As you can see, I beat the hell out of it. White ceramic ghost. And honestly, I, the amount of people that ask me and say, God, I missed out on that. I mm. wanted that. I, and that is something really cool. I think this is a this is a great watch. Um, and I hate that you've chosen it because I'm now kind of, I've got to find an alternative. I have an alternative. We, we can have the same. Yeah. We can have no, the same. Well, no, okay. I, I, I it, want, it adds to the power. I yeah. wanted yeah. this watch, but I'm Will not- Will you give no, your reasons I, for having it? I, I, so yeah. for me, I the reason why I chose this was firstly because I got an understanding of Jero Perigo. Mm -hmm. I got an understanding you of what they're doing. Yeah. And I love what they're doing. Their designer, um, Clemence, she is awesome. Um, they have a real kind of cool team there. Patrick is an amazing CEO. And I feel like Jero Perigo, even when they did the casquette coming back, yeah. the, you know, they, they're taking risks. Mm -hmm. And they're taking risks and doing something dynamic. And they're still 
paying homage to the past. And so for me, this is a great watch. There is an alternative and I've got to ask someone else to help me uh, that's in another room. Yes, yeah. that, that well one. Well done, Masked Watchmaker. Masked Watchmaker. He's just going to know. He, I mean, like literally, as soon as I, I hint about a Zenith product, the Mars watchmaker manages to find me Amazing. the actual watch. So Daft Punk starts playing whenever I look at this guy. I, I, honestly, <laughs> yeah, I do. So I mean, like, come on, I, I, you know, Andrew, you can be the uh, the voiceover on okay. this because sure. this for me is is. Well, a Adrian step. asked a question about this. It's a good question. Why do you have this small? Wind it up. Let's get that little baby going. Um, that's that is not a small seconds. That is a run. This this small seconds. Oh, this is though. nuts! It's cool. So the watch runs at four hertz. This is a high beat movement. Yep. That is essentially an El Primero movement. And that, that hyperactive. Look how fast that is. This is not sped up. So this is a full revolution of that sub dial in I think at ten seconds. So effectively, we have a a, sh a flex from Zenith that the movement inside this is not your average time only movement. And again, they're always referring back to that manufacture heart, that incredible in house flex that they have. In some you know, of when pieces. I saw this, Adrian, you're looking suspiciously. So, so I, because I'm, I'm talking, and then <laughs> we can go. When I saw this in the in the um, in uh, the manufacturer, I was just like, this thing is damn cool. It's an and interesting dial too, because it's somewhere between the tapisserie, like, somewhere between the I like the how they've done the integrated the, bracelet. You know, it's just very easy to plop in, plop out. Yep. You know, it's one of those that I'm, I'm sounding like, but when I saw and this first... And over to Adrian to end this editorial. So, uh, um, <laughs> I think you can tell which of us three um, have relationships with this brand. And, 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 <laughs> that is harsh. Who can that speak independently. Harsh. So when I, I like watches that have a purpose, um, Andrew, can, can you explain the purpose of this? Yes. It's just, it's it's just a flex. mesmerizing. It is a pure flex. And I think it's, I don't know, why are you still talking? Uh, Adrian, continue, because that was a rhetorical question, and you're going to stitch me up now. Yeah, I, so I, I, I think this is a, a really awesome looking watch, and it could have been executed amazingly had this just been a running seconds. And there's just, you know what? there's you, no need to this. Sometimes your ability to live up to your name is breathtaking. This watch is just too exciting. <laughs> the thing is moving too fast. What, what's, what's exciting about it? There's nothing yeah. exciting there's about no it. There's no other watch but, in the world with a little no, tip no, of a second it's pointless. No, because it's absolutely it's, pointless. Do you, know, do you, know you what say I'm... pointless, I say exciting. And thank you for watching. And we love audience participation. Uh, we love everything that you do with About Effing Time. Um, and thank you, thank you. And we're back. Yes, yeah. baby. Woo. Boom. Like, subscribe, and see you next time.